hello everyone you are welcome for tech lt word channel so today's topic is introduction and architecture model of m plane in oren so basically uh, previously we have discussed like in brief like what is the oren what is the oren different different plane so going forward we will start our our uh, new topic in every every plane like management plane C, cu plane as plane and all each plane we will discuss in very deep deeply manner and we will uh, follow the specs of oran working group 4 and uh, uh, current version like 3.0 so we will we our video will be based on working group 4 uh, 3.0 version so in what is the planes in oran so planes in oran fr front hall below planes are defined like control plane user plane s yes plane and m plane so Today we will discuss the management plane, what exactly management plane are, so then going forward we will discuss C plane and U plane and S plane also. So this is the first video of management plane and going forward we will discuss like management plane having specs like 150 page around in working group 4. So we will discuss its spec, whole spec in chapter wise. So today is the first stop, first day, first video. So first you need to know the what is management plane basically. So basically, as name suggests, like management plan means something managing to some 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 uh, some node. So here, basically, in our ORAN requirement. So first uh, first requirement of ORAN is zero touch provisioning. Zero touch provisioning. So in zero touch provisioning. So what is the meaning of this? So it's mean like you need to just install your e node b and that's ju just a plug and play kind of uh, things should be there right so just you need to install just you need to connect the uh, lan cable you need to connect the gps means everything which ever needed for uh, running of the ran so and after that there is no need of uh, manual installation of your software manual uh, configuration and each and everything should be taken care by management plane so why management plane so basically management plane use the uh, net conf and young model so what is net conf and young model we will discuss this thing separately in some different video but today we will discuss some brief brief about net conf so net conf as net conf full form like network configuration network configuration so as name suggests network configuration means something we need to configure in our network right so through management plane we can configure our rrh so because rrh is in at remote place right so rrh will be reside at the remote site right so and what is young so you should know also about young so young is a database model in our whichever our uh, whichever node is compliance with oran spec so that oran node should be follow the young model so young what young is just a data model so young means yet another next generation right so this is the data model so you might be aware what about data model so data model can be different different uh, like if you're talking about uh, video so video can have mpg right so and mp4 right so similarly audio having text format and there are a lot of data model and similarly if you go for data model in in our uh, or communication system like dot csv format for for storing the data like uh, your counters and uh, those things and similarly we have young and yeah, xml model so previously we are using xml model so xml model just a means young model is similar like xml model so here our network node will understand the language of young means uh, arrangement of young model so em plane basically work on netconf for configuration of Con configuration of um, you know, con configuration installation and all these things and for for doing those things net your management plan use young model as for data right so that is brief about young and uh, netconf so so uh, now we'll discuss each and everything means what is the what is the management plane what is the use of management plane so first use of management plane is the start of an installation right so once your means once you uh, add your are you are you 
in your network right so are we are we are we should start up and installation should be managed by or an um, m plane m plane uh, right so first thing is start up and installation second is software management so in software management basically you can do config you can uh, you can install new software built through management plane right so those things can be uh, can be handled by management plane so configuration management so configuration management you might be heard you, you might be knowing about those things like uh, suppose if, if you are configuring uh, configuring any cell site with their bandwidth uh, their frequency all these basic basic configuration can be done by management plane so previously how we are doing so previously any engineer need to come to that site and uh, just uh, take some some do some configuration through putty or any other software and engineer need to so it need to go at cell site right so by management plane introduction this is the biggest advantage so you can do everything remotely via management plane right so next one is the performance management performance management means kpi if you want to do some optimization on cell site like uh, tilting and uh, you want to do some configuration changes uh, for performance so those things you can perform by management plane <coughs> so last one is the fault management fault management means you people are aware about uh, alarm and all those things can be managed by management plane means rectification of alarm notification of alarm so those things can be done by management plane so file management so next one is the file management means how your arius file can be stored for kpi and what will be the their path and everything can be done by management plane so the manage uh, by management plane our operations will be very uh, time efficient because and cost effective also so we'll discuss management plane architecture uh, next next thing so there can be two type of architecture so first is hierarchical m plane model and second is hybrid hybrid m plane model so in hierarchical M plane model, so ORU is ma managed entirely by one or more ODU using a netcom based M plane interface. So guys, one one thing I I was I also want to know you like uh, what is the net how means how how this thing configuration can be done how netcom session is established. So see first once ORU will be came up right so it will it will take it will do some call home with with management with the nms nms server so nms uh, nms client basically so it will it will call, uh, talk to nms client okay so in nms client so nms client can be reside at odu or some different node so that will depend upon your I mean, so that will depend upon your configuration so mostly your your re is directly connected with d right so there is no separate connection with uh, management plane so if any management plane data if any manage management plane uh, signaling is going forward so any management plane signaling is uh, uh, start initiating the configuring the oru so that will come via odu right so might be your nms will be reside here right so that node and it will send to du and du will send the ru <coughs> So in this netcom model, so RU will be server and your DU is client, right? So ODU will ODU will establish the netcom server uh, uh, one one netcom session with server. So here here multiple ODU can can uh, can configure the netcom server. Netcom server means your ORU, but that net that uh, management means might be here different du here different du here different du they all want to connect with this oru right but they cannot have parallel connection with oru directly so they they must go with one odu right so this oru can be managed by multiple netcom client but there there is only one connection right so but in hybrid model what is the difference so here multiple odu can can uh, do multiple ODU can create multiple connection between ORU and ODU, right? So this and minimum one connection should be there for configuring, for uh, managing, and uh, so M plane should have minimum one connection and maximum up to number of DU. But maximum connection can be possible means uh, uh, multiple connection can be possible in hybrid model. Means suppose there are three DU and three DU is connected with one ORU, so 
this ODU will configure the RU, this ODU will configure according to that, uh, this ODU, I mean, so this RU, and this ODU can configure this RU via, via separate netcom. So, this one netcom session 1, this is 2, this is 3. But here in high hierarchical model, if this ODU want to connect with this RU, so this ODU must be connect, uh, go through with this this ODU that is directly connected with ORU. Right? This is the main. Uh, difference between hierarchical model and hybrid plane model. So that's all for today. We will discuss next topic for in depth of M plane in upcoming session. So stay tuned. Thanks, thanks. Please like, share, and subscribe. So thank you.